Hello everyone, welcome to yourfaculty.com. We are going to deal with certs and indices today. It's a pretty easy concept, but we tend to ignore this concept because it involves a lot of powers, square roots, and some big numbers because of which we feel that it is very difficult to solve such problems in an exam. But believe me, such questions can be answered in a matter of uh, two minutes. If you look at our video, you will see that how quickly we can solve these problems and in exam if such questions come you are sure to answer it properly and you are sure to get a good score if such questions come and let's now move on to the questions please watch our videos carefully because we are going to start do it pretty fast okay let's move to the first question 1 to the power of 5 power 4 so please let me try to explain this in the case of power, what happens is 5 to the power of 4, if I have to represent in a different way, is also equal to 5 to the power of minus 4. So, remember this concept. The next concept is if there are two numbers 5 to the power of 4 and if it is multiplied by 5 to the power of 8, it means this is equal to 5 to the power of 12. You just need to sum up the powers. Similarly, 5 to the power of 8 by 5 to the power of 4 is equal to 5 to the power of 8 minus 4. These are the basic concepts that you see you need to know to solve most of the problems in certs and indices. Moving on, in this question, 1 to the power of 5 power 4. 1 by 5 to the power of 5. So what happens here? This is equal to 1 by 5 power 4 and 125 is equal to 5 to the power of 3 into 0 0.25. Do I make sense? Now, start. start. Okay, let's go on to the first question. Value of 5 to the power of 1 by 4, 125 to the power of 0.25. See, the basic things that you need to understand in the case of uh, surge and indices is, if a value is given as something like this, 5 to the power of 1 by 4, this is also equal to 1 by 5 to the power of minus 1 by 4, which means a to the power of b is equal to 1 by a to the power of minus b. Please remember this. The next concept that you need to know is a to the power of b into m to the power of n, a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of b plus n. And a to the power of b divided by a to the power of c is equal to a to the power of b minus c. Please note, if you are multiplying, if the base is same, then the power just needs to be added. The base is same, the power just needs to be subtracted. Please note, when you are multiplying, you are adding the powers. When you are dividing, you are subtracting the powers. And in this case, you just, when you are doing a reciprocal, the power becomes negative. Very simple. So what you are doing, going to do, do now with this question is, and this is the basic concept that will be applied across thirds and indices. Okay, now moving on to the first question, 5 to the power of 1 by 4 into 1 to 125 to the power of 0.25. And what is 0.25? That's again 1 by 4, right? Okay. Now, 5 to the 1 by power 1 by 4 into 125 can be written as 5 power 3 to the power of 1 by 4. And what happens? 5 to the power of 1 by 4 plus 3 by 4. This is same. 5 is 5. And power is 1 by 4 and 3 by 4 here. So 1 by 4 plus 3 by 4 is equal to 5 to the power of 1. So the answer is 1. Next question. The value of 10 to the power of 150 divided by 10 to the power of 146. As I mentioned earlier, it is 10 to the power of 150 by 
10 to the power of 146. And what happens here? You just need to subtract the powers. 10 to the power of 150 minus 146. Which is equal to 10 to the power of 4. And you have 4 zeros out here. So that's the answer. Moving on. 2.4 to the power into 10 cube divided by 8 into 10 to the power of minus 2. The first step is to take off these decimal symbols because that will confuse us a lot. So what do you do? We write as 24 into 10 to the power of 2, 10 square. You take 110 out here and it becomes 24 and becomes 10 to the power 10, uh, 24 into 10 square divided by 8 into 10 to the power of minus 2. We get 3 over here and if you take this up, what happens? 10 square into 10 square which is equal to and of course you have 3 here which equals 10 to, 3 into 10 to the power of 4. I assume the option would have been this one or else there is no option. It is 3 into 10 to the power of 4 is the answer. Next question. 1000 to the power of 7. So immediately what you can do? It is this which is equal to 10 to the power of 21. And 10 to the power of 18. You are dividing it. So what do you get? You bring 18 over here. It is minus 18. And this is equal to 10 to the power of 3. 10 cube. And the answer is 1000. I am going very fast but I, I, I hope you are able to understand what I am trying to do here. I think once you understand the basics that when you take the denominator to the top and the power becomes negative, if you understand this basic concept, I think the problems will be very easy for you. Okay, moving on. Now, now the questions are going to become more interesting. 17 to the power of 3.5 into 17 to the power of He'll keep it x is equal to 17 to the power of 8. So what does this mean? It just means 17 into 3.5 plus x is equal to 17 to the power of 8. Now the base is same. So what happens? 3.5 plus x is equal to 8. And what is x? 4.5. Next question. 5 to the power of a is equal to 3, 1, 2, 5. Now, if you know the powers of 5, 5 power 1 is equal to 5, 5 square is equal to 25, 5 cube is equal to 125, 5 to the power of 4 is equal to 625, 5 to the power of 5 is equal to 3, 1, 2, 5. So, in this case, what are we trying to say? 5 a is equal to 5 to the power of 5. And then in that case, a is equal to 5. And what is that they are asking for? They are asking for 5a minus 3. And we know